Well, good day, smart traders. I trust each and every one of you are ready for another profitable day within the market. Let's kick things off by having a look at today's economic calendar. And so another week has come to an end. Today's economic calendar doesn't have too much in store for us. However, during the US session, we do have one Black Star event at half past three, which is the core PCE price index month on month report. Later during the US session, we also have two half star events, which would be our pending home sales report, as well as our revised consumer sentiment report. Let's move on by having a look at what's making headlines within the financial markets today. In currency news, trading was thin yesterday with Australia out for a public holiday and some parts of Asia still away for the Lunar New Year. The dollar still hovered near eight month lows against its peers with the Fed no longer leading the charge on interest rate hikes and the US economy trends set to worsen. We now believe the US dollar has entered a period of clinical depression against most foreign currencies. The Fed's policy setting committee will begin a two day meeting next week and markets have priced in a 25 basis point interest rate hike, a step down from the central bank's 50 basis point and 75 basis point increase seen last year. Markets expect policymakers at the Bank of England and the European Central Bank, who will also meet next week, to deliver a 50 basis point interest rate hike, double that of the Federal Reserve. The ECB is seen most likely to remain hawkish. Now let's move over and see what's making headlines on Wall Street. US indices ended a choppy session higher as traders grappled with an onslaught of economic data and a string of mixed corporate earnings all while eyeing the clock as it ticks down towards next week's Federal Reserve Monetary Policy meeting. Shares of the electric car maker Tesla surged 11%. There were dual catalysts for the strong rally in Tesla shares. One was the strong fourth quarter earnings report and the second was the announcement that the company would invest $3.6 billion in a semi-truck plant in Nevada. Earnings came in at $1.19 a share for the fourth quarter versus expectations for a $1.13 a share. Revenue was $24.32 billion versus $24.16 billion expected. Tesla CEO Elon Musk also said in a post-earnings call that Tesla could potentially deliver 2 million vehicles in 2023. Moving over to commodities. Oil prices rose about 2% on expectations that global demand will strengthen as top oil importer China reopens its economy and on positive US economic data. Crude is set to end the week flat amid caution over an upcoming OPEC Plus panel meeting, as well as more cues on the US economy from a reading on the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge. Gold prices retreated down around 1% as the metal market hunkered down before its release of the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation gauge, while a recovery in the dollar also pressured prices following better than expected US economic growth figures. And finally, let's finish things off with cryptocurrencies. The stablecoin of the leading cryptocurrency exchange Binance, Binance USD, has seen its market capitalization plunge by $2 billion after reports of its past mismanagement surfaced. At a time in which Tether has been seeing its market share of the stable coin space rise. According to available data, Binance USD circulization supply fell to $15.4 billion this week, down $2 billion over the past month. The decline came after a previous decline seen in December, where users started moving funds off the exchange over fears of a collapse similar to FTX. So that is it from us here at Smart Online Trader. Should you be interested in any additional services that we offer, kindly get in touch with us or simply click on one of the links in the description below. As always, may the best be with you. Cheers.